Hey, and today I'm gonna do a quick video, I'm gonna try to be quick, about the look that I am wearing today, which is more of teal, blue, grayish silver, with a new kind of lip color. Um, the, <clears throat> the makeup that I have used, which I'm gonna start with my face, is of course my favorite, favorite, favorite foundation. And it's the Color Perfect Liquid Makeup by Black Radiance. And my shade is 8414, which is the name Brownie. Um, it has like mid coverage. And I love it because this color is like my exact color. You know, so I really do love this foundation. This is my third bottle. I'm going through this and it's about time for some more. And it comes like this, which I prefer a pump but I don't even know why they use a small spatula, but anyway, it's, it's, it's a wonderful foundation if you're um, looking for an everyday wear. Um, I'm not going to say it's good with not transferring because it does kind of rub off a little bit, and if you sweat a lot in your face, it's going to sweat off a little bit, but it works perfect because my face is not oily, neither is it very dry. Okay, and the powder that I set my makeup in was by Mary Kay, and it is the Mineral Powder Foundation. Actually, this is my sister's um, shade, which is, she's a bronze too, but I like the way this powder sets. It's a very soft powder, and it's, I'm going to say it's kind of translucent, but it sets my makeup very, very well. Okay, for the eyewear, which is the eyebrows I'm going to start off with first. It's like always, every day, I use um, a matte concealer, and uh, which is this right here. And this is at the Studio Finish um, line, and I'm a shade NW45 when it comes to concealer. And I set my eyebrows, I tame my eyebrows with the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit. And it's about time for another one, too. Um, I use the, it's like a gel cream to really set my eyebrows to where the hairs of my eyebrows is not frayed out and it's not misplaced anywhere um and then i set it to add a little more deep color in it like that black just a regular black eyeshadow and i use a brow wand and kind of place my eyebrows where i want it to be placed the concealer is set on top to clean up the top and the bottom of my eyebrows okay on to my eyewear which is um my eyelid I use numerous um, products to complete this look first I start off with the elf primer and this holds your eyeshadow on all day I really do like it it's not too thick it's not too thin and I on top of that I use the eyeshadow base which I use really every day or if I'm really um, doing a smoky eye or a big bold colors like what I'm wearing today I'm using the skin tone and this is 03. So this is the, the base and the primer that I used before I put on any eye color at all. Now for the color base, I use which is my one of my favorite eyeshadow bases. And when it comes to eyeshadow base, you're looking for like a creamy eyeshadow. And this is the Color Tattoo Eye Studio by Maybelline 24 Hours in Tenacious Teal. And I do not apply this with a brush because it's very hard to apply with a brush. So I use my fingertips. And you really have to close the cap on, especially cream eyeshadows, because as you can tell, it separates from the um, inner of the, the bottle like that, um, with a jar rather. And it can really harden up. And I have another shade, which is um, a gold shade that I really do like when I'm doing big bold gold eyeshadows but yeah this is the base color now on top of that color tattoo I went into my elf 32 color palette and chose this color right here it is like um it's not really a teal teal but it has like green and bluish undertones in it and that was the main color the main you know focus of my eye shadow look um, I did not go into the crease which is the inner top of your eyelid into the crease I went with this color and I had this for shadow palette for uh, two or three years and um, I use this color right here 
to really have that smoldering crease look which you see along here and I kind of spread it out from the inner inner corner all the way to the outer corner and I use a little bit of this color to transition into my um, highlight color and the highlight color that I used is what I used the same eyeshadow, but what I did was took a brush and kind of blended, blended up. Now I didn't want to use a silver because that would have been like too big bold of a silver to set on top of this teal color. When I blended everything and right after I blended in everything, I just went into once again my elf palette like this and used the black, or you can use any kind of black eyeshadow to do more of a smoldering outer V like I produce right here. Now on the inner tear ducts right here, I use once again this color. The same highlight color that I use on top, I use on the inner tear duct to make my eyes pop. Okay, on the very bottom, which I love to do, I love to do the waterline colors. And what I did is I went into, let me see, yeah, into uh, LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is black. And for some odd reason, when I bought this, I didn't really look and see how I was going to turn up the color because when you take this bottom cap off, it's like this. So... Anybody who can comment me, email me, and you know, tell me how to get the rest of the product out. So, and but in order for me, what I do right now is I use a flat top eyeliner pencil and I kind of pencil like this and I kind of just brush it along and <clears throat> I put black in my waterline right along there to complete the top black. You know top lash line which is odd how they just put this like this I don't know I don't know <laughs> but it's just crazy and the problem that I have with the LA color jumper eye pencil and this is the color sunglasses I don't know why they just can name it black but <laughs> sunglasses the problem that I have with these is that they tend to run like if you if you um, tear uh, your tears if your eyes begin to water or tear up it will run so I settle with the black eyeshadow so underneath that black I use a Nika K and these are very popular among dark skinned females especially I don't know why but I never seen a Caucasian female wear this any kind of Nika K products but anyway it's the eye light crayon and this is the color a very pretty blue and they they named it teal and I would name it teal because it's not a bright sea teal color like the teal that I have on top of my eyelid. But anyway, I ran it right on the bottom along of my waterline to really make, you know, the blue stand out. Yeah, and that was kind of fun to do because like I said, I love putting colors on the bottom of my eyelid as well. Now, I winged out my eye with um, one of my favorite 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 liquid eyeliner of all time and that's that's the uh maybelline line stiletto ultimate precision liquid eyeliner and when when they say it's ultimate precision it's ultimate precision because it have us a, a felt tip to it it's not too hard and it's not too soft where you cannot work with it and what i do is just go ahead and wing it out wing it out now the thing about this eyeliner, it's only one kind that I don't, one thing that I don't like about this liquid eyeliner is that when you place it on, it seems to kind of fade out. Um, so I set black eyeshadow on top of this liquid eyeliner. I set a lot of my dark uh, liquid, but black liquid and cream eyeliner with just regular uh, eyeshadow, black eyeshadow powder. Yeah, but anyway, I winged that out as well. Um, I didn't plan on doing a cat eye like this because I had planned on just leaving the dark blue, silverish, deep grayish. But I was like, well, I have on falsy, so I could complete the falsy look with the um, with a, a winged out eye. And once again, it is by the Maybelline Line Stiletto. I mean, if you're looking for a good... Um, 
liquid eyeliner and especially if you're in uh, just starting out in makeup or a beginner um, makeup artist this is a great a great liquid eyeliner because like I say you could work with that felt tip very very well very well and um, I also like it because um, I know a lot of liquid eyeliners have them but this is my first eyeliner where it comes with a little small ball on the inside to mix up the product so yeah um anyway on to my lashes i think two or three days ago i put on individual lashes as you can see right here and i like my lashes to be long and flared and full on the outside and thin on the inside because it really shapes my eyes so um yeah i put the individuals on and normally i'm used to the lash bands it took me, I'm going to say, two or three hours to put these lashes on because I had to learn a trick. I haven't did individual so long, but I have so many individual lashes. It's ridiculous from short to long. And like I said, I have been using the Cherry Blossom Lash Band because I find it easier to me. It might not be easier to you, but I find it easier to me to just put on the, you know, the lash band positioning. Boom. You, that's it. Instead of dipping every individual lash into that glue and sticking them on and sticking them on. What I was doing was sticking them on top of my lash line instead of the very bottom. And I was like, oh, okay. So nobody ever told me that. I had to find out for myself. And once I did, I was like, oh, but well, that's how you really put them on without them looking so bulky looking and send them on top of your eyelids. So yeah, that's a trick that I just taught myself. And I think I'm going to continue wearing these for like a week pull these off and just pop some more back on but to set my lashes is one of my favorite mascaras and this is the black radiance lash lengthening mascara my sister used it as well and the reason why i like it because i like the bristles bristles are straight pointed out and there's so many bristles on this brush and it separates their lashes very very well it doesn't too much flare your lashes out but it separates and I like my lashes to be separated and after that I wanted a little bit of flare so I used the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express in the flare um, formula and I do have which I picked up first before I picked up this the waterproof regular on um, falsies and I've done a review on this long time ago and I don't I do not like this mascara it's it's not mis good mascara to me but the flared falsies it really does flare out your um your your own human eyelashes and also flares out falsies as well so it's true these false th this false mascara actually works wonderful wonders um Let's see what else I'm mixing with the eyes. I think that's it. Of course, I went back into my concealer and kind of cleaned up the fallout and the dark suckers that I have. And I'm going to move on into my cheeks. Now, I'm just starting how to contour. Like in my last video, I was telling you, I just started contouring my face. And what I use for that is the 3D Face Creator from Ruby Kisses. The CoverGirl Queen Collection um, Natural Hue Bronzer and Ebony Bronze. This is the darkest bronzer that they have out of that line and um i also use a deep deep brown eyeshadow since i'm dark skin to kind to contour my cheeks and i use the the light color of the 3d face creator up on bottom to really highlight that part and to highlight the top of my cheeks and i use a a soft bronzer which is my from my last video, I told y'all about this. The Black Radiance Artesian Color Baked Bronzer. That's a very, very pretty gold. And if you want that radiant glow look upon your, your cheeks, just to make your cheeks pop and look like that you were sun-kissed, like that, I just pop it on my cheeks and go. Use it up here as well and to kind of slim down my nose I use this and blend it out before I use the bronzer on my nose I went into my of course the face creator I used a mixture of this light shade along with the matte concealer 
to really um, highlight and slim down the nose. And then I use the dark shade along the sides of my nose to kind of slim it down. And I set that dark shade with the Queen Collection bronzer. I also use the Queen Collection bronzer to set the cream. Anytime I use like cream or liquid foundations, like I say, I set it with powder. And after all that, uh, with my face, I went into my regular face powder with a, a big old face brush and set all my makeup like so. Now onto my lips. I'm gonna make this very quick. Because uh, I didn't intend for this video to be that long. But I use my favorite nude brownish lipstick. I the Wet and Wild. And it's the 914C. And I'm just looking and noticing the name of it. Which is Mochalicious. I never really paid attention until I was doing my makeup today. But yeah. I put that on. And then I set this lipstick on with just regular cheap LA Colors lip gloss. Like so. And I like this lip gloss lip gloss because it gives a lot of shine but yeah this is my look and um, I'm going to put this look on my website as well and give it a name I have done this look before but um, doing it today I kind of fixed it up to where fixed up the mistakes that I did last time I think I did this my first time doing this look was really almost a year ago and it's on my website it's on my Facebook page and so now that I've, I'm learning eye tricks, eyeshadow tricks, how to contour your face or whatever. So I just put all that together and did a new lip. Since my eyewear is so bold, I kind of simmered down with the lips. And like I said, contour my face a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, this is the look I'm going to rock today. Um, later on, I will be going to work. So I'm going to see how long with this makeup last. I'm going to see, since I haven't used the color tattoo eyeshadow base in a long time, and it's, they claim it's 24 hour, I'm going to see how long it's going to hold my eyeshadow up as well. So yeah. Um, if you have any comments, um, of course, in the sidebar below, comment, like this video, thumbs up, you know the whole YouTube thing, and of course subscribe as well. Um, yeah, or you can you can also email me Miss uh, Brown nineteen seventy nine at Gmail if you have any questions or want me to test any kind of um, makeup items, brushes, anything. I love testing out makeup uh, items, makeup brushes, things like that, and putting my reviews on my Sugar Lips Makeup Facebook page. But yeah. I really do like this look. I love blues. I haven't wore blue, teal, purple in a long time because last year I would wear it all the time. And lately I've been doing natural browns and, and green looks. So I think I'm going to go back into my blue and it's going to be spring anyway soon. So I think I'm going to continue to rock my pinks, purples, and blues as well. Yeah. So until then, I um, hope you have a wonderful day and evening. Uh, tell other people about my makeup videos because I'm going to continue to make some more videos. I think the next video I'm going to make is another makeup review because today I plan on picking up the CoverGirl 3-1 Flawless Foundation. I hear a lot of good reviews about it. And they have almost like to 15 to 20 different shades for dark skinned females. And that's a big plus. I love, love, love makeup lines that offer all kinds of shades for dark skinned females. And like I say, it's the CoverGirl Queen Collection 3 in 1 Flawless Foundation. <laughs> so I'm going to pick that up today and do a makeup review within the next two or three days about that makeup. And I'm so excited because I've been waiting on Queen Collection from CoverGirl to bring out a new line of liquid makeup so until then i will see y'all guys later bye